I think in terms of experience, we just have to accept that, that with the type of players we, we're using now and have been using and the type of players we're promoting, if you look at the number of caps in our team and you compare it to the number of caps in the German team, we'll be way, way below them. But that's because perhaps we are where Germany was after 2006 uh, with a lot of good young players that they believed in and, and wanted to promote. And that's where we found ourselves, I think, a couple of years ago. So we're much closer to the start of our journey than, the, than Germany, not least of all because they've completed a journey. You know, you can't get much <coughs> further than winning the World Cup. We haven't really um, picked a team with that in mind. Um, there will be quite a lot of inexperienced players on the field, but uh, the only way they're going to get experience is playing in games like the ones that were previously mentioned. Spain and France, now Germany and Holland, then we'll be playing Portugal and, and, and Turkey and Australia, another three quite important opponents before we set foot in France. That's the best we can do as, a, as an FA and as a team to give the players that type of opposition and that type of opportunity to gain experience. Um, so I'm, I'm confident that the team that I've selected for tomorrow night is, is a good team and a, a good team to take on the might of, of Germany. And, We'll find out when the referee blows his whistle tomorrow night. Everything else is just empty air, really. Well, I think whenever a legend pass, passes away, it's a, it's a sad day for football. Um, I think the word legend is used far, far too flippantly, far too glibly. Um, in my time, I don't think I could name more than five or six people I would think would come into that category, you know, Great, great footballers, and, and also in, in Johan's case, a, a great, great coach. Um, the, the very <coughs> short meetings that I had with him, or my, my short encounters with him, I always found him a fascinating man to listen to and interested in his opinions about football. And uh, it's a, just a sad day, and we in football can only put, sort of mark our respect, I suppose, as I'm sure we will do tomorrow. We certainly, and I believe Germany, by wearing black armbands, and, and uh, to hope that his, his family are coping with the situation as best they can, but there's not so much more to say.